I've never viewed my mom as a traditional mom. My mom took me to Studio 54 when I was 11 years old, twice. It would never have occurred to my mom not to bring my brother and I to Studio 54 when she was going because she thought it would be an interesting experience for us, and it was. I mean, how many 11-year-olds have that experience, so. Right. Yeah. It's probably illegal. Oh, no, it's definitely illegal. <laughs> okay. Yeah. No, 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 I've looked into it. I, I know it's illegal. Oh, this okay. was like in the Quaaludes in the basement, Studio 54. Right. That's a new one. <laughs> did, you didn't know that? I didn't know yeah. that. Yeah. I didn't know who Michael Jackson was. I saw him dancing. I literally, I turned to someone and I was like, he should pursue that. <laughs> giving career advice. Yeah. You know, I wanted to make a, a film about my mom, Gloria Vanderbilt, because I thought, though she's been in the public eye probably longer than anybody else alive today. I mean, she's almost 92, and from the time she was born, she was making headlines. People know her name, but they don't really know who she really is. They've seen a public face, but they have no idea, really, of what her story is. I knew Anderson Cooper, I knew Gloria Vanderbilt. I didn't know that they were family. Um, so for me, it was like a completely new world and a new story. And Gloria, as an artist, is one of the most self-reflective people I've ever met. And she just, she works through her story in her artwork. So I thought there's an incredible way to tell this story. The grief for the lost places of your past. The heart of it and what really sold me that there was really a special film there was the relationship between Anderson and Gloria. I didn't know things were kind of unusual until probably I started to be, you know, my teens and started to realize not everybody has you know, Truman Capote and Charlie Chaplin coming by the house, and you know, not everybody's mom has their name on people's jeans. Growing up, it was, uh, I mean, it was, it was a really interesting environment, and, and we wanted to get at that in the film. We wanted to kind of reveal the, the things that nobody has ever seen of, of my mom and the life that we had growing up. Anderson had been videotaping his mom and asking her questions through home movies for um, a few decades. I've been sort of discovering all this stuff about her, which is amazing and, and that's never been seen before. And so we turned all of that over to Liz. I think Gloria is a person who went through her life and there were a lot of misconnections. And I think the film is kind of an effort to interrupt that pattern. The bottom line for me is just asking her all the questions that I'd never asked her before. And I think it's the kind of conversation a lot of kids would like to have with with their parents, kind of to leave nothing unsaid. <laughs> wow. Um, well, no, I guess, no. let's see, I'm a gay guy who made a film about his mom, so maybe that's probably the definition of a mama's boy. <laughs>